Former footballer Clark Carlisle is very unwell, but safe in hospital his family has said. The 37-year-old was found in Liverpool on Friday evening after being reported missing amid concerns over his well-being. The former defender's wife, Carrie, who is six months pregnant, updating well-wishers on Twitter, added, I know he would want me to remind you to talk to someone and ask for help if you feel the same way. The former Professional Footballers Association chairman, who made more than 500 appearances for nine clubs during his playing career, has a history of mental illness. He launched a mental health charity called the Clark Carlisle Foundation for Dual Diagnosis, a condition that has been described as mental health problems co-occurring with drug or alcohol misuse. The father of three, who played in the Premier League for Burnley and Watford, remarried earlier this year and has worked to raise awareness of mental health issues. Carlisle tried to take his own life in December 2014 when he jumped into the path of a 12-ton lorry on the A64 near York while suffering from depression. Shortly after the suicide attempt, his marriage to ex-wife Gemma broke down. Carlisle, who has publicly struggled with depression, said the scars he still bears from his suicide attempt are a constant reminder of his good fortune in surviving. And in a radio interview he revealed that the accident had led to him moving out of the home he shared with Gemma, his wife of 14 years. The sportsman would later tell Talksport Radio, at this point, Gemma and I have separated. I have moved out of the marital home because I have to focus on my well-being and equally as much Gemma has to do the same. She has to deal with her experiences and the effect that has had on her. Asked about how his then wife Gemma has taken it, he added, Every day has been incredibly tough and different. Carlisle in action for Northampton Town in 2012 professional debut aged 18 for Blackpool against Wrexham on September 2, 1997 joined Queen's Park Rangers for £250,000 on 25 May 2000 called up to England under 21 side during the 2001 season 1 second division player of the month award in November 2003 played integral role in QPR's 2003-04 promotion campaign to the championship joined Leeds United on a two-year deal in June 2004 after after his contract expired at West London side left the Yorkshire site after just one season, moving back to London to join Watford for £100,000 played a big role as the Hornets gained promotion to the Premier League in May 2006 via the playoffs, beating his old side Leeds 3-0 at the Millennium Stadium featured in his first Premier League game for Watford. On April 9, 2007 in a 4-2 win against Portsmouth named Man of the Match in FA Cup semi-final against Manchester United on April 14, 2007, but that wasn't enough to stop his side comfortably losing 4-1 following Watford's relegation at the end of that season he joined Burnley for £200,000 one promotion to the Premier League again this time with the Clarets in May 2009 on November 17, 2010 Carlisle was named as the chairman of the Professional Footballers Association replacing Chris Powell joined Pre Preston North End on loan for the duration of 2011-12 season spent the remainder of the season at Northampton after his spell at Preston, was cut short rejoined Northampton on loan until January 2013, before penning permanent deal on May 23, 2013 Carlisle announced his retirement from professional football ambassador for Premier League and Kick It Out, which campaigns for inclusion and equality and football co-commentator for ITV Sport on Europa League and FA Cup games overall won three caps for England under 21 side.